Hi everybody. It is Tuesday. Ouch. Um, I keep... I don't know, something's wrong with my elbow. Sorry. Um, it's Tuesday afternoon. Um, I'm at work. Um, and uh, it's actually really been really nice weather this week. So we've spent a lot of time playing outside, which means that I've been really tired in the afternoons. Um, but um, Charlotte is taking a good nap and uh, hopefully we'll stay asleep for a while longer. Um, so anyway, I wanted to um, do a little update um, and talk about my weekend this past weekend. Um, so first, health-wise, things are okay. I'm in the middle of a cycle of treatment. Um, so, but my, the schedule this week has gotten kind of messed up because I ended up having some kind of an issue with my port on Sunday, Sunday night, um, where it was, something was going on with it, and, um, the fluid wasn't all going in and it was like leaking back out and so I ended up having to de-access and um and so my I was supposed to do two doses of antibiotics yesterday I still got the two doses in but they were just one of the doses I did on Sunday before I de-accessed and then I did the other dose last night so it was just kind of a weird mixed up schedule so far this week um my port seems fine now I don't know what the issue was. I had the same problem one other time with the, I have a double lumen port. So there's, I can put, I can access both lumens and have two needles in so I can do two non-compatible medications at the same time. Um, so that's helpful for if I'm on antibiotics at the same time as my fluid mixture. Um, but I, now, right now, with the antibiotic that I'm on, the infusions are so fast, and it's only three days a week, and um, it's only twice a day, so I don't usually access both lumens. But um, I happened to have both lumens accessed, and I've had this issue with the right lumen before, and I mostly use the left lumen because it just works better. Um, I never get a blood return from my right lumen now. Like when I first had the port put in, I think initially I did, um, but that was very short-lived. And other than that, it works okay, but um, every once in a while, apparently, I have this problem. And I think the last time I had the issue was at least a year ago, so it's not that big of a deal, but um, I'll have to keep an eye on it. So anyway, um, so yeah, so that... So I'm in the middle, I'm in the second week of a cycle, so I'll finish, I'll do antibiotics this week. Today I'm off of them, but I'll do them tomorrow and Friday. And then do oral tamivazole this weekend. Um, and then next week, the off treatment, and then do coartem, which I need to remember to fill the prescription. <laughs> Um, and start that on Friday, next Friday. So, it's uh, a little bit crazy trying to keep the schedule straight, and it helps that I put a lot of the stuff on my um, Google Calendar to help me. But so that's kind of health stuff. Um, and then this past weekend, I got to go down to Florida for two days. Um, I went, flew down on Thursday afternoon and then came back on Saturday night. Um, and I got to go down, and this is actually related to my infusion company. Business Day is doing, Business Day or Business Week, anyway, is doing a, um, a piece on my infusion company and um, infusion stuff and a particular type of pump that my infusion company uses a lot. Um, it's an ambulatory pump. It's actually, it's actually a kind of pump that I prefer not to use because it's really loud. 
Um, I've used it, I've had it, shown it in, um, in videos before. We call it Vader because it sounds like Darth Vader breathing. Um, I think there was another name that my dad used to call it, but Eric and I refer to it as Vader. So, um, yeah. So I, <clears throat> they wanted to have a patient interviewed and part of the story. Um, so this is for TV. Um, so my infusion company asked me if I would be interested in doing that. Um, they asked me a couple months ago, or you know, a while ago. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, sure. And so they flew me down to Florida, where they are, um, and took me out to eat. And, you know, Friday we spent the whole day there at the infusion company offices. Um, and they... And they came and did the taping. Um, but it was a lot of, like, I was, I did a lot of just kind of sitting around in the offices. And it was just cool to be there uh, as they were doing their normal stuff. And, like, they're really an entertaining group of people. Um, and I've been with this infusion company since May of 2005. So um, I've been with them for a really long time, more than six years. And um, they, they're just... They're really a great company. Um, I really like them. If anyone wants more information about them, um, feel free to ask me. Uh, I'd be happy to share. Um, so yeah, so I was interviewed kind of like, there was a script, so it wasn't just like an interview, but, um, and then there was more video stuff, footage taken that's gonna be dubbed over with other stuff, other audio. Um, of me like setting up the pump and the nurse showing me how to do stuff with my port and stuff like that. So, um, so it's cool to get to be a part of that and to get to go down there and um, meet everyone. I had been down there and met uh, some people a couple of years ago because I was down there for uh, with my dad who was there for a conference. Um, so I got to spend the day with some of the people from the company, but. Um, but this time, it was a lot more like just kind of hanging out. And, um, and on Saturday, they treated me to a day at the spa, at a spa, which was really, really nice. So I got to go and have a facial and a massage and uh, got my hair done, which it's, they just straightened it. And so it's long gone now, but, um, and I uh, got a pedicure. So it was a really nice day. And uh, yeah. So that was my weekend, and I flew back on Saturday night, so it was kind of a whirlwind, like, 48-hour trip, and, um, and I'm, I think I'm still recovering, because I didn't get really enough sleep while I was down there. Uh, had some really good food, and it was just a nice trip. Um, so now, this week is, like, kind of a crazy busy week, and then I have two more weeks left, um, of work for my church job and then I'm done with that and I have three after this week I think I have three more weeks of nannying and then I'm done with that I'm done at the very end of June whenever that is so today's the seventh so it's probably about after this week it's probably three weeks um, and I'm spending some time up in Maine in the midst of all of that um, right after church ends. So, um, so this month is a little bit busy. Um, I'm trying to fit in. Going up to New Hampshire to see Flora um, and stuff like that. So, um, and one other piece of news that I will kind of end with is um, that last week Eric officially asked me to move in with him. Uh, so. In the fall, I will officially be living there. I'm going to be moving uh, kind of slowly throughout the summer um, so that it's not like a big stressful move. But I'm already trying to figure out what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of and kind of will down my, uh, my things so that it's not so difficult to move. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, and I also managed to get some video of Charlotte yesterday when she got up from her nap that is in a format that I can actually 
edit in to the video, so I will leave you with a little bit from Charlotte. So I hope you're all having a good week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Did you say hi? What's on my shirt? What's on my shirt? Bye. <laughs> what about this one? Bye. What's he wearing? Thank you.